Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So at the beginning of this month, July, I posted letting you know that the Microsoft Weather app is going to be getting a new Fluent design with a couple of new features. And just to let you know that I have noticed that today in my region with the update to the Weather app through the Microsoft Store, uh, today on the 25th of July, that that new Fluent design with those new features has started rolling out. So this seems to be now making its way um, out a lot to a lot more regions globally um, than when I posted previously. Now, just to go through a couple of the little tweaks and adjustments, um, obviously the weather app still works the same. It's just really user interface adjustments that have rolled out. And yeah, you can see at the top, um, we've got, a lot of new fluent design that's come in a lot more rounded corners we can even see that yeah in the daily forecasts and so on and it comes with blur and transparency effects that can be seen in the menu main page tiles and a lot more and um, i'll leave that previous video i did post um down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information now something i quite like about this new update uh to the weather app is this little widget they've popped here to the uh, left-hand side, which is like a little pop-out widget. So instead of scrolling through the app, you can click on Current, Daily, and it takes you to the relevant sections. Um, as you can see, so that's uh, Details, Maps, Monthly, Trends, and so on. And you can also refresh, and it takes you back to the current page. So I actually think that's a nice little handy little widget. And uh, I actually quite like the new look and feel. Now, one thing I must just bring to your attention is when I posted that previous video, I did show you how you can use the we the weather app without seeing these ads, which is very unfortunate, which actually spoils the whole experience for a lot of users, including myself, where Microsoft has popped. Um, they actually removed these ads, which I posted on, and then they placed one back, and then they've placed two back. So this kind of, for me, just spoils the whole experience. But uh, if you did watch that other video what i mentioned is that um you could use the weather app without ads by just minimizing it to a smaller size but unfortunately it seems now with this latest update that microsoft has also taken that functionality away and we still get ads uh, in the weather app like it or not so even if you try to minimize it it's not going to work without ads so that's a bit unfortunate but nonetheless um i do like the new look and feel i like this little widget but I don't enjoy the ads, and especially now that you can't minimize it. So I'm just bringing that to your attention um, in case you would be interested and you do find, in your, do find yourself using the Microsoft Weather app. And this update applies to both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And that's the update, the latest update through the Microsoft Store. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.